I can't even remember what I was going to say because you started singing. And <laughs> every time the songbird of my generation happens That's to start it. singing, I can't I've do it. I've been anything. called that by people who've heard me. <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. It's no more, no, no longer Fergie and Jesus because she it's, decided to. It's okay. just Paul. It's just it's, Paul from Hashtag Sports. Okay. So it rolls up the tongue so much easier. <laughs> as you will see above Paul's head, uh, htagsports.com. Uh, we do have a website, guys. And uh, at all the socials, if you go at htagsports, you'll find us on Instagram, Twitter, Tim Horton, Spotify, um, Paula's Donuts, Lenova, um, and iTunes. So make sure that you say it, you put a, at htagsports. Paul, we left the last, episodes on, last episode on a little bit of a cliffhanger talking about you know yeah. who the Buffalo Bills could acquire at the November 2nd trade deadline. Mm -hmm. I specifically titled this Last Dance because people don't want to talk about it. It's the bye week. Let's just throw it out there. How many players are on uh, free are free agents for the Buffalo Bills currently well, 16 technically we're going to exclude um the exclusive rights free agents and the restricted free agents so we'll just exclude them because those guys get you know they're they're basically almost a slam dunk to return um yeah. so we'll we'll exclude those so 16 in total so 16 in total yeah. of free agents for the Buffalo Bills next year obviously with Allen signing his deal you project Edmonds will be selling so, so, it's a hard word there. We'll be signing his deal next year. Which one of these six? I mean, how many of these 16 guys are not going to be wearing a Buffalo Bills uniform next year? I, so. I mean, I think it's I think it's reasonable to say most. Right. Like, this, yeah. here's the thing. Buffalo has kept a lot of these guys around for a long time. Like the names on this list are incumbent players who have been here for quite yes. a time. And there just comes a time when you need to start cycling. Right. Buffalo is already doing that when you go out and you draft, you know, Basham and you draft uh, Rousseau. You're like you're already signaling where that move is going to go, like where those where the, you're not going to be resigning veterans. So I, I think this is just part of staying young. Like you were young for a long time. You kept the band together for a, an incredibly long time. I think we need to give Buffalo credit for being able to return an incumbent defense for four years in a row. Oh, know? yeah, absolutely. It's impressive. It's it is. But it's time. It's time to start piece meal and some of that out so <laughs> it's funny too because i think most of these names we're going to agree on most of these names we may have a discussion on but we're going to yep. try to fly through this so i just want to read the names jerry hughes i'm sorry mario addison emmanuel sanders vernon butler mitchell trubisky ike butker levi wallace taiwan jones fa obada isaiah, Mc isaiah mckenzie matt Breida, brian cox jr jake kumaro harrison phillips Aaron neal and tyrell dodson uh well there's actually some more there so justin zimmer um, well no i was i was going through i didn't go i didn't go through the uh exclusive rights free agents or the restricteds uh zimmer's not. oh no oh yeah, yeah Zimmer. zimmer's not no okay. no no so uh reed ferguson technically is a is a on the last year of his deal harry is uh justin zimmer bates is, yeah uh restricted free agent tyrell dotson is exclusive rights free agent yeah and joe ivy I don't even know who that is. Apparently. Okay, so he's he's not going to be here. So yeah, all right, let's just matter. no. I'm sorry, sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so and it's 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 amazing you brought it out at the at the onset of the show. You said they're starting to cycle positions, which you have to do to be a successful team to get those. You draft two defensive ends in one season in one year, and then you have two defensive ends that are going to be on contract years mm -hmm. in Jerry Hughes and Mario Addison. Mm -hmm. Are Hughes and Addison, is this their last year in Buffalo? So I think, I mean, Mar, I don't know what you think about this, but I think you're probably keeping one, right? Really? I, yeah, I think you can. I, I don't think, you know, I think if you came to Jerry and say, listen, you know, we had a great run this year. How's one at six sound? You know, Jerry's not going to get six anywhere else. You know, he's going to be, no. be 34 next year. Like he's the, he's only valuable to Buffalo and he's only valuable in a contingency role because you know, you've got Epineza, who is playing less and less snaps, which which is weird. It something's up there, right? I think something's nagging him that we don't know. Maybe, about. maybe. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know. But I think you probably keep him one. Uh, but I, I don't think you're paying more than six million dollars for that Ooh. player. Okay. Um, you disagree? I, I don't know if you keep it. I think this is the this is the process. You know what I mean? This is the cycling process that happens yeah. with some of these players, and then you just move on from. Them. I mean, Hughes is Hughes and Ferguson are the last two. Mm -hmm. The last two from the previous regime. Everyone else has been drafted, signed, or acquired by this regime. Yeah. Except for Hughes and, and, and Ferguson. Right. So uh, Ferguson will be here. He'll be here until he retires. Like, we just I, signed a, he just signed a big-ass deal, and then they cut him because they needed the roster space. You do not cut a guy that has a Twitter handle called SnapFlow69. No. You no. just don't do he it. You, you, he tells you when he's done playing. <laughs> That's it. Well, Addison has it's it's weird that they asked Addison to restructure his deal and they never asked Hughes to. Right. He was making more. So uh, I don't know if that line of communication is open to. Maybe they did ask Hughes and he said no. So do you think he'd take a one for six? Well, I think one thing that you run into, Mar, right, is is Jerry is a clean cut. Mario's Mario Addison isn't, right? Next year, you know, you're still paying the price for voidable years. Right, yeah. you're still paying the price for Mario Addison. With Jerry Hughes, you're not doing that. It's clean cut, right? So okay. I think it's easier to bring him back because he's not he's not one plus. You're not signing him to a deal plus what you were hiding under the rug from last year. <laughs> uh, you know, just this is the deal. Here it is. It's money. I love those it's voidable years. Dollar. Yeah, it's dollar. For they dollar. make things. They make things so simple. <laughs> well, speaking of simple, Vernon Butler's gone, right? Like we can Vernon Butler is gone. No, like we can agree on that one. Mitchell Trubisky yeah. is gone. This is the this is the resurrection project for Mitchell Trubisky. Yeah. He's going to be gone after this year. I mean, look at the quarterback class, dude. Quarterback class next year is not good. Mitchell Trubisky is looking like a pretty sexy option for some. Look teams. at the quarterback class that he came in with. They're not yeah. looking pretty good. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, you know I mean? No, I mean, I'm just kidding because he came in with Mahomes. Mahomes having a little trouble. Watson is. Okay, I'm done. Um, but you can look at the, look at the quarterback class he came in with. Not every story yes. is happy ending. No. No. <laughs> he did it. Yeah. He did it. But a guy that's wedged in between them, guys, Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. You bring back Emmanuel Sanders. You have to, man. Like Do I, you? He's ring chasing. At this point in his career, he's ring chasing, right? When, uh, he, when he sits at the podium and says, Josh Allen is special, and I played with the good ones, and he's special – I don't I don't believe that to be lip service. Like I think he's yeah. in. Whatever it is, I think he's in. He's in. You gotta bring I mean, him back. we could we could have it talks with Gabe the... Davis. Like it hurts Gabe Davis. You got that's that's the trade off. Does like, you know, could we push Gabe Davis down the down the totem pole for one more year? Um, you know, I You could. I you think, could. Yeah. Well, here's the craziest part. Gabe Davis, I don't think they expected Gabe Davis to see as much time as he did last year. Right. And and I I think they expected him to play more this year. Mm -hmm. So it's like an opposite, you know, it's a flip for him. So the kid, the, the kid's trying to get used to it stuff. You can't get a better education than Emmanuel Sanders. You oh really no. Can't. He's so, he's so brilliant on the football field, you know, mm -hmm. like it's, he's so brilliant. Um, Ike Bucker. Yes. Trouble at guard. You're bringing him back. I'm bringing him back. Cause he's 28. You can bring him back on another one year deal. He would accept it unless another yeah. team comes calling for something else. The fact that he's not playing, no other teams seeing him. Right. He don't, he's only started seven games the last seven games of last year, and everyone saw how that AFC championship game folded. Yeah, it was bad. Speaking of look, fold, ye, that was bad. Oh my god. It was it was bad. So I think you can get him at a on a reasonable deal, and he's a guy that will accept his role as that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um All right. so then you got Levi Wallace. We come we come to Levi Wallace. I think you're done with this. Woo! Yeah, I think you're done with this. Are you? you gotta, do you, you have the get, Nelson look, hangover? Is it the Nelson hangover? Or is this the Dane Jackson love? episode from the last yes. episode? It, and I, I do believe that you have to give Dane Jackson some level of, you know, uh, some level of push here because I, I just think the talent <laughs> level with Dane Jackson is just too high to ignore. Um, but with that being said, I also said AJ McCarron's going to be the starting quarterback for this football team two seasons ago. So we all make mistakes, guys. I'm not saying that. You know, it's it's good to. Problem is, we admit them. You don't need to save receipts. We'll bring them yeah, up. Don't it's worry. Good to, it's good to admit your mistakes. Um, I, there's no way in this universe that they don't continue to address the cornerback position. They did it in the draft this year, and in, always in it. UFA, they're just going to keep doing it. So Levi Wallace, I don't think you need him back. I, he was a luxury to get back. I, I don't think they expected to get him back. He signed a deal way lower than he should have. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't ex I don't think they expected to get him back, and he signed a deal below market value to stay. 
Oh my god, it's so funny too. Because I, th- I really thought you were gonna say you're gonna put some respect on Dane Jackson's name. I know that's what you're gonna say. <laughs> All right, some of these guys we could just we could breeze through. You think yeah. Brian Cox Jr.? Yeah, no. If he does, it'll be practice squad. Yeah. Taiwan Jones? Nope, gone. Nope. F. A. Obata? I don't think so, man. He hasn't. He'll be 31. The body would. Yeah, I, he hasn't worked out the way that I thought he would have. All right, Isaiah McKenzie. He's gonna you, you be 28. Stevenson. You drafted Stevenson. All right, so you're saying he's gone too? Yeah. Okay, Brita. <laughs> I'm done with you. No, you can't. You I can't. Please. You can't play. You can't answer this one. Mine I don't is. think he comes back. I don't think he comes back. No. Jake Kumaro. He's. I didn't know Kumaro was 30. Kumaro's 30 years old. Do you bring him back? Practice squad, maybe. I mean, he's a special teams player. You know, like yeah. I you're gonna keep him or Taiwan Jones. I I would imagine you keep Kumaro over Taiwan Jones. Okay, you got. But here's the craziest part. Exclusive rights free agent Justin Zimmer at 30, Harrison Phillips, unrestricted free agent at 26. Those are interesting, two interesting names. Zimmer plays his ass off. I think you're wrong about that. No? I think you're wrong. Yeah, Harrison Phillips would be entering his UFA year because oh, is that what it is? Seasons, yeah. So Harry Harry's entering his UFA year, so he's going to be okay. He's going to be an that. unrestricted free agent. Zimmer actually was the same. He's now going to be an unrestricted free agent oh, okay. because they played more than six games this season. Well, these notes so, you gave me suck, then, Paul. I hate that. I don't sure. know what you googled. I messed it up. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't Google some stuff we can say on here usually. Harry, um, Harry, I don't think is back. Justin Zimmer, they play an awful lot. They do. They just, they just, that, that, that's their, I don't think that is their, but he's 30. Number one, he's 30. Yeah. Number two, you could still develop Phillips if he, if he, but you got a little bit of an injury bug with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, with Zimmer, could this be another minus the, the statistic, the eye popping statistics? Is this another Phillips situation? Maybe where a team, a team micromanages the stat and just says there's more to hear. I mean, they, I think the difference is the age, you know, a, a yes. year old DT, you're going to get Justin Zimmer back for a song. You, you know? will. And you're, you're going to need to, because a lot of the money you're going to have to delegate elsewhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sierra Neal, Ryan Bates, Tyrell Dodson. I think all those three guys come back. Yeah. They're all process guys. Process, process. Uh, Ryan Bates is a restricted free agent. So um, he'll actually end up being a free agent. Because there's no way they put a first or a second round tender on Ryan Bates. That's the only option they would have. Uh, he would be making multi million dollars um, with a first or second round tender. You don't think you put a second round tender on Bates? No, because it, it guarantees a salary at like two. It'll guarantee a salary, I think, for over two million dollars. They didn't do it with Levi Wallace either. You know, they they didn't they didn't put a tag on a Wallace, and they could have. They didn't have the room for it. Um, I think you're going to kind of run in the same situation. You're just Paul, you're not going to pay him to over two million dollars next year. But so. Paul, he plays every position on the line. He so does. He would does. you would you would you pay four hundred grand per for position for him? <laughs> Some jeez, Mar, this <laughs> that's not how this works. That's not how this works. He plays every position. <laughs> that's not how any of this works? You telling me it'll cost me two million dollars to get a guy that plays all over the line? Come on, why not? At, I, at I'm, average just argue, pace. I'm being argumentative. At an average pace, yes. Well, was he a free? Was he picked up as a free agent? Trade or traded for him? What was he drafted at? Uh, Bates. He was undrafted. Oh, he was undrafted. Yeah, okay, Bates was undrafted. That's why, because the way restricted free agents work is here we go. A choice. Yeah. You, I got you on this. So you have a choice. You can put a first round tender on them, a second round tender. And that means that those those teams, you know, a team that wanted to sign him would have to give you one of those assets in order to in order to sign him. But when you're undrafted, there's no original round tender. Yes, that's the thing. That's why Levi Wallace had to be tagged at a first or a second round because Levi Wallace was undrafted. So there's no original round tender. That's how that works. Any drafted player can get a first, a second or an original round tender. Um, but when you're undrafted, you don't you don't get that option. Yeah, and just to bring up uh, how that works, Mike Gillisley, just to let you guys know, mm-hmm. was a fifth round draft pick. The Bills tendered him at his original round fifth rounder. Right. Uh, the Patriots decided, yeah, we'll take that, and then that draft pick ended up being Matt Milano. So Do you, remember if you guys, how, you, don't, you don't remember how we got Ryan Bates? Oh, you're. Uh, one. Oh, this is they, they traded the defensive end that was like atrocious, Eli, wasn't it? Eli Harold. Eli Harold to the Eagles. 
callback from another episode. Trade him to the Eagles. Go figure. Bills traded with the Eagles. Huh. Oh, oh, God. Stop it. You're just pulling rabbits out of hats now. No, uh, so, pull, yeah. So, it's better so, than pulling my head out of somewhere else. I'll tell you that. So, we got Hughes, Sanders, Butker. Is, then you get down to Zimmer, Neal, and Bates, and Dodson. That's it? Wow. Yeah. There's going to be a that's lot it. of jerseys that are going to have to be redone next year. That's the culling. It's going to happen. It's going to oh, happen. You got to you gotta afford, you gotta afford a linebacker. You got to afford a quarterback, Marty. Oh, oh, but I don't, I don't like the comment section already. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm sorry, Paul. You'll survive. Listen, if you if you disagree, put in the comment section who you think is staying, who you think is going. Who do you think is playing their last year in a Bills uniform? That's an interesting one. I like that. Yeah, I like that. That was a good idea, Mark. Yeah. Happen every once in a while. I regret it now, just like most of my 20s. All right, we're, we're going. <laughs> At least you remember this. 